And John, is not John with us yet? Oh, we're live. Okay, awesome. Um, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us to everyone on YouTube watching. Thank you so much for your continued participation. Um, we quick, quick reminder, if you haven't taken our survey yet, you can find it on our page um, on the town website under committees and councils. Um, and with that, I will call the meeting to order. Welcome to committee members. Um, first, just to get a couple housekeeping things out of, out of the way, um, I move to approve the minutes um, for the June 13th meeting as submitted previously around by email. Um, do I hear any discussion? Second. Second. It's actually, Katie, excuse me, it's the July 13th and the June 22nd, but if I can have separate votes. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yep. July 13th, rather. So, Charlene, you're still seconding? Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, great. And same for June 22nd. Second. Excellent. Um, meeting to order. Welcome to committee members. Um, first, just to get a couple housekeeping. Sorry okay. about that. All, did I say all? Did, it, did we do all in favor for June 22nd? Aye. 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 Okay. Awesome. Great. Okay. So with that, um, I just wanted to thank Larry for um, appearing at the town board meeting yesterday and giving our quarterly report to the town board. Thank you, Larry. Um, I'll give you the floor for a few minutes just to give us an update on how it went and if there were any action items that came out of it. Um, let's see. Um, I don't think there were any uh, public comments, at least in the first pub public comment section of the meeting, um, or at least there's none that I recall. Um, action items, uh, the town uh, board actually did um, make a motion and approve um, a resolution uh, on submitting the grant application. Um, but otherwise, I don't think that there are any other action items that came out of the town board meeting last night. Okay, well, thanks again for doing that. We all really appreciate it. Um, I do, I do want to note that the, uh, Peter Parsons did uh, recognize uh, John Wolf at the meeting for all of the work that he did in preparing the grant application. And of course, um, I know other members of the steering committee also um, participated and had input on, into that as well as um, uh, Kirsten and I'm sure Jan, Jan Anderson as well. So thank you to everyone passing that on from the, uh, from the board. Thank you, that's so nice. Yeah, um, thank you so much, John. We will we'll hopefully be able to finish that up later on in the agenda, but we know it's been quite a lot of work. Um, so that's awesome that you got some public recognition for that. That's because I played tennis with him. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so moving on to the first um, item on our agenda, update on the survey. So um, update and some sort of just housekeeping stuff on the survey. So I will give Larry the floor again. Are you, oh, you're on mute, Larry. Yeah, I'm just unmuting, there we go. Um, sorry, I was just trying to log into my surveymonkey.com account so I can give a update as of today, but I wasn't able to log in. Um, given my work environment right at the moment. Um, but a quick update is um, uh, as of yesterday when I checked, uh, we were at, I think it was 286 survey responses. And I know that between Kirsten and I uh, from our last conversation that we probably together have about 20 more uh, physical or hard copies of the survey that got dropped off. So we're well over 300 copies of the surveys or responses to the surveys that have come in to date. It seems like, um, you know, I, I haven't really gone in to analyze the results yet, and I don't know that it's appropriate that we do at this point, um, but it seems like we have a pretty fair representation of submissions from the different hamlets within Lewis Borough, so that's a good, good start. 
Um, and the intent is to keep the uh, electronic version of the survey open indefinitely, or at least until um, we're ready to engage um, with a consultant to help us you know, analyze the results. And um, you know, so at this point, it's, uh, it's kind of like we're in the midst of a survey response period. We're trying to find better ways to get responses in. Um, we'll, I think we're uh, making an effort to get some more flyers out around town in different locations that has the QR code to make it even easier for people to just point their phone and go right to the survey survey site. And um, you know, I anticipate that we'll just continue to keep getting the word out through the summer months at least, at the very least. Awesome. Um, I was responsible for the uh, drop-off locations at um, Wakabuck and South Sol Salem post offices. Between the two, I've only had um, one response dropped off. Um, so if anybody else is on, I know Kirsten has been collecting responses at uh, the, the planning office. And um, I don't know if John or Mark has had a chance to check in on their drop-off locations. Um, but I would anticipate that most of our responses will continue coming in um, digitally, at least for the time being. Yeah, let's go through real quick. So Larry, all is well with Wakabuck and South Salem, it sounds like, in terms of post offices. Um, John, I know that you had an issue in Vista that the envelopes just keep disappearing, which is definitely a bummer. Um, yeah. Um... Do you have envelopes in Greenwich Produce as well? Just a, uh, I, there's a flyer there. Oh, okay. And um, I put three flyers up in uh, uh, on a true. Okay. By the way, if I disappear, my power just flicked a couple of times. So. Yeah, I think we're all having trouble with that. Um, if we go dark, we probably will have to reschedule for another night. Yeah, Elmwood is famous for losing power. So. <laughs> um, what are yeah, we? I keep looking out the window. <laughs> yeah. What are we gonna do about Vista? Because I don't want people to go to the post office there looking for paper copies and then be disappointed. And. Um, well, there is a flyer still there. Right. So, I mean, I don't know what, you know, it's twice now it's happened. So yeah. I guess there's some mischief there. Um, any, does anybody have any idea? Uh, I was also told by, um, you know, when yeah, I put no. the envelopes out up in the um, uh, South Salem post office, the postmaster there said that the supervisors offered and come around to make inspections regularly and they check the bulletin boards and sometimes they remove items. So it might be, you know, it might not be mischief. It might just be uh, something that they might see as inappropriate. Um, but it doesn't seem like anything's been removed from Wakabuck or South Salem. So maybe it's a different supervisor or maybe there's some, some other issue. Well, when I put them there the first time, I asked if it was okay and they said, no, yeah, no problem, so. Cross River has been fine. Um, in fact, I got, I, I think around six or seven and um, I checked it on Saturday, there were no more. Mark, have you been able to check Golden's Bridge? So I'm actually going to go over there tonight. Um, what I did is, okay, a couple things. I put them in a plastic sheath because when I first put them up, I actually put them in um, Lewisboro, the, uh, the Vista Town Park. There's a big bill, billboard. I could send you a picture of it. Flyers, you mean? the concerts. Yeah. Okay. But I put them in a plastic sleeve. And, they're, and I put them back, the first one got destroyed by the rain. So I put them in plastic sleeves with the opening at the bottom and thumbtacked them. Those are both up now. I just went back to, Oak, uh, to uh, Greenwich Produce, Oak Ridge Shopping Center to put another one up. But, but the one John put up is still there. But I was actually gonna reprint them in yellow because since they're on white paper, I think they get lost with a sea of similar looking white, um, eight and a half by 11. So I was just gonna print them all again in a, like a, fluorescent yellow because the blue on our you know on that design works well nice contrast with yellow paper so we're just going to do them again and put them in a plastic sleeve cool okay so and you'll check on the post office on yeah. an ongoing basis okay yeah. cool let us know if you have any issues there um 
So Vista, um, I guess maybe, I'm just wondering, do we need to put a note on the flyers that says not available at the Vista post office or how do we avoid people showing up there looking for them? I, I mean, I don't think there's gonna be a ton of people but there might be a few that show up and say, hey, where do I get the paper survey? And then they get disappointed and give up. Yeah, you know, Vista is a little different. It's not a pickup, you know, it's it's a distribution center. It's not, uh, um, as much. It, you don't get as much traffic as you do with the other ones because you can't buy stamps there or uh, anything like that. So it's, it's more of a, it's on one. I mean, distribution center, and I guess there's new boxes, so it's okay. it's a little different. Okay, so mm, so are there po? Can you have a PO box there? Um, I think you can. So, um, I was gonna um, before we run out of time on this, I was gonna maybe. Do you think, Katie, we could just shift gears a little bit and talk about other steps for spreading the word on the survey? Yeah, absolutely. Just everybody put put your thinking cap on on that one. If you come up with a solution, just let's email about it because I don't want to leave anybody out from from having access to the paper surveys. Um, yeah. So it's the the idea is that you know we don't want to have an underrepresentation from Vista or from any other other Hamlet. Yeah. Um, but I, I think it's too early to say um, to say that that that's going to be uh, a problem. For sure. um, so what I was going to suggest is that we did uh, also look into uh, postcard mailing, um, which I just wanted to go over. There were some emails back and forth in case anybody missed the emails. Um, I don't recall who had looked into the pricing for it, um, but uh, was that Kirsten? No. Katie, I believe. Katie? Katie, do you want to give like a quick update to the committee on the, sorry to throw this back at you, but um, just on the <laughs> postcard the costs I, and I the, don't remember the cost off the top of my head. I'd have to bring my email back up, but I I could I could I could I remember it then. I I can I think I can give it give it to the rest of the group. I did talk to um our town um to Elise Robertson, who's the town assessor and for for big mailings like this in the past, um she's been able to export an Excel document that has um addresses and it's it's a little less than 5,000 basically. So then I looked for pricing based on that. Um, and it'll be, it's pri the pricing includes the postage. You just upload the addresses um, and then, and we don't even necessarily need to include names. It could just be addresses depending on how the town board feels about that. Um, and then you just press some buttons, upload a design which we could all collaboratively agree on and then we'd be good to go. But the pricing is for five thousand. I want to say the email that I saw. Um, I believe it was like nineteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So it's not insignificant, but you know it is. It is a cost. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I wanted to throw out there is if um, you know we did talk about um, attend, at some point we talked about maybe having some sort of um, outreach to the community, like personally, and I'm wondering if. We might try to do like a, um, like a table or something, uh, like a meet and greet where we could have the flyer and the QR code and encourage people to do the survey at potentially like the South Salem uh, Firehouse uh, Fair, which is coming up in a few weeks, oh, yeah. um, or at the library fair, or at the library fair drop-offs, the library uh, fair um, manager, um, coordinator, director was uh, actually presenting at the meeting last night. Um, so I haven't like vetted this if that's a possibility, but I'm happy to reach out and see if we might be able to do that. And I'm just thinking, you know, you know, if you can get it in front of a couple hundred people over the course of a, a day or two and, and encourage even like 10 or 20% of them to take the survey, you know, that would really bump up the response rate. So that's, that's an idea that I have. If there's any other events, um, I could put a list together and we could, um, um, we could circle back on it in the next meeting or take action to, to make it happen. That would be fantastic. I love that idea. Um, <laughs> if you could reach out and see if it's possible, Larry, that would be great. Yeah. So I'll just ask the rest of the people on the committee and anybody else um, that might be watching if there's any other um, events that has a significant Lewisboro attendance 
um, that we might be able to put on a, our list for uh, outreach, that would be great. You can get in touch with me at LarryMango at optonline.net or to LMango at planlewisboro.com.gov. Is that, is that it? <laughs> Gov.com? Gov Gov.com. Okay, just to build you. off that um, last night at the town board meeting, I did bring flyers and I walked around explaining to people about the survey. And I was, think it was a one third, one third, one third split. A third had not heard anything about it. We're happy to do the survey. A third had heard about it, had done their survey. And another third, oh yeah, I heard about it. I haven't completed the survey yet. So it was good to jog their memories. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, at the library fair, you'd have to have a table because if I recall from two years ago, all the drop offs are outdoors. Mm. Okay, that those are that's my idea on getting the word out is to try to get in front of people personally. Cool. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I mean, if we can get we can get them up in the neighborhood of 800 or more survey responses. I think that would be fabulous. I'm letting us go a few minutes over on this because we have some extra time in John's section, by the way. So um, any if there's any other thoughts, uh, we can go till 750. So are, are we stocked at the audit troop? Because I know there's a barbecue there this weekend, right? Isn't there a Democratic. There are three flyers up in Onitra. One, one as you walk in the door, uh, one down the hall, and one up by the rec office. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so I'm going to kick the, the topic of the mailer. Let's just uh, make a note for Jane um, to circle back on that, and we can talk about thoughts for if it's possible, how should we should move forward at, during her section. Um, and, and Larry's gonna take the lead on asking how we can get tables or whatever needs to happen for those other events. Cool. Um, any of, uh, didn't sound like there was anything else on the survey. Um, so moving on to the next topic, um, update on the RFP to consultant, um, just if there's, any next step stuff or any new developments? Um, oh, and I guess actually that's a question for Larry um, and or Jane. We can talk about it in Jane's section if there's if there's anything that we need to do as a committee to share the RFP document with the planning board, the zoning board, and the architectural review committee. Also, um, give Charlene the floor. Also, there's the, I sent around a list of around 11, um, 10 or 11 uh, consultants that we may um, send them to, send the RFP to. If anybody wants to add anything, that's fine with me. It's just, you know, people that I've heard about or know or whatever, and who've done work for various um, municipalities. Um, as to the RFP, I revised it in accordance with uh, uh, Jan's and Judd's uh, comments and everybody else's comments, and I thank you for that. Uh, hopefully, uh, Larry, I ask you whether, in fact, uh, the board is going to, or, or the board referred it to the zoning board, planning board, blah, blah, blah. You know, all uh, the boards. Yeah, I don't believe that. Um... I don't know if I asked for that last night. I don't recall if that was in uh, my. I, it, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a formal. But I would, you know, when it gets to Jane's um, time, I'm going to request that she make sure that it's um, formally uh, sent to those committee to to those uh, boards for review. Um, and just a a note. Um, in terms of organization in our, um, our shared drive folder. There's a folder for grant related materials. Um, and in that, oh, I'm sorry, not grant related. Um, in the RFP folder, excuse me, um, there's uh, the document that has the list of firms Charlene was referring to. If you wanna add folks in there, you can just open up the document and, and, um, and edit it. Um, 
and we'll just keep that as a working document until um, September. Yeah, and, and what we would need now is everybody's comments so we can get dates together. Because I didn't put any dates in because I don't know when it's going to be uh, finalized as a, as a uh, RFP. Mm -hmm. And as soon as it's finalized, I think this question came up before whether the board needs to um, formally state that they're doing an RFP or whether they just do a consensus that we can send the RFP out. I also suggest that we, um, uh, we advertise in the um, American Planning Association and on the web, of course, and uh, you know, I, I don't know whether newspapers really would be the appropriate place to advertise it, but maybe you know, in one of the newspapers. Okay, great. Um, I did. I do remember that we asked, or we're asking um, for comments back from the other boards by um, August twenty sixth at the latest. Um, so that we gave them a month from yesterday. So um, we'll I don't know whether it was done formally, though. Right. Yeah. Whenever they get it, that'll be their time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So some outstanding questions there for Jane. Um, but we will move on. Uh, unless, are there any other questions or thoughts on the RFP? Okay. Seeing none. Next topic. Um, the grant. So again, John, thank you so much for all of your work that you've done on this. We know that the technology and the administration involved is quite tedious. So that alone can be so frustrating. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It seems like we're super, super close. I copied and pasted this list. Um, it sounds like some of these have been resolved, but I just wanted to go through to make sure it was definitely all done for you. There's only two things left. Um, I have only received one letter of recommendation. Is that the same as letter of support? Yeah, that's the same thing. I've only received one. I've asked Jen Anderson. I've asked John Johansson. Uh, Dana has said she would, but I haven't received it yet. I know some of you have asked people. I would really like to get those no later than Thursday because um, they basically said uh, don't submit at the last minute. And based on the lack of uh, technology I've seen in this process, I suspect that on Friday afternoon, their website is going to crash. So, <laughs> Probably so, a good uh, assumption. <laughs> so I would like to get ours in Thursday. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be sitting around at four o'clock tapping keys trying to get it in. Yeah. So, um, okay. I Peter Parsons did um, say that he wants to write one, but I know that he's got like a tight schedule this week with vacation. So I will work with him and his um, assistant to make sure that we get that buttoned up by Thursday. Yeah, Peter. Peter came through with the uh, the, the board thing that that uh, made us legit. So he gave me that. Okay. We had this MWBE form that we had to agree to, which basically said we have to follow some rules about diversity. And uh, I wasn't sure that I could sign it, but he signed and sent me that in. So. Peter got me a couple of the ones done. Okay. So really, I've got one budget question to answer at the end, which is easy enough, and just hoping to get more than one letter of recommendation, though. Okay. And, then, and then off it goes. I, you know, <clears throat> I filled in everything. They may not be the absolute best answers, but uh, <laughs> I was creative, and um, they look great. And uh, they limit you in the number of characters, so you can't say too much. <laughs> yeah, it's, so. it's a definitely a skill filling that out, saying just enough within the characters. But you've done a really great job. Thank you so much. Well, and I've had input and help from lots of people. So uh, Jane, I know Jane worked it on one weekend. I've received stuff from you, Katie. So. Um, <clears throat> Always, uh, as, as everything here, it's a team effort. So uh, we just push the people to get those letters in. I mean, we've got one, so we got one, but I would like to get a couple more. Yeah. Uh, on the budget question, do you want to workshop that together or anything we can do to help on that? 
No, I took a strategy of not putting in a ton of money because I put in uh, 40 for the for the uh, consultant. And we know it's going to be way more than that, but it, there's no way we're going to cover it. 100, if you put in over 100,000, you get disqualified. Mm -hmm. But looking at how comprehensive plans have been given grants in the past, they've been very small. So I don't think, you know, and if I look at the criteria, um, we're kind of behind the eight ball a little bit because, uh, you know, there, there's big talk about downtown revitalizations, uh, creating jobs, uh, you know, uh, there's a question about ink, you know, the average income in the town, those kind of things. So we, uh, we got to be a little careful on the budget thing. So I, I was very conservative. Mm -hmm. I think that sounds like a smart approach. So does anybody I, have thoughts or comments or anything for John? And anything else we can do to help? It sounds like the one big thing is letters of support. Yeah, that's all I'm really waiting for. I, the one last question I can answer in a couple of minutes, so that's not a problem. Okay, awesome. Great. Yeah. Well, we are in a really good place. So yeah, they, there's a little check thing list at the end, and we're good to go on all but that one budget question section, which I can easily do. So okay, great. Um, well, we can come back to that in Jane's section and just see who, if there's anybody else we can bug for letters of support. Um, Something where Senator Pete Harcum would weigh in or offer, because we mentioned this to him. Uh, yeah, I think it's too late to get him, I would think. But, um, and it's also, I think, administered through the region. So uh, we're going through the Mid-Hudson Valley and they have their own criteria. Um, live, work, play was their criteria. So, <laughs> um, you know, I, 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 I don't know how the process works if, if from the approvals. I'm sure they got a little committee that goes through and doles it out. After you um, put it in, I can call Peter um, and just give him a heads up that, that we've submitted it. Yeah, that, I'm sure that would, help or it can't hurt, so. Um, okay. Cool. Um, okay, so on the topic of grants, um, the next item is we have these two items that have been on our action item list um, for a while now, but they don't have anyone assigned for looking after them and moving them forward. Um, so, I'll skip to the second one. Um, the Hudson River Valley Greenway Community Grants Opportunity. Um, it's a rolling grant application. So there, it's either due September 10th or November 8th. Um, and because Lewisboro is a Greenway compact community, we could be eligible for up to 25,000 in matching funds. Um, I believe it's a totally separate grant system so it's not um you know it's not going to be the exact same process that john went through but what exactly it entails i do not know um i was wondering if anybody wanted to um take the lead to look into that and noodle around see what it would take and then take the lead on pulling in other people and delegating um as necessary Are you, Mark, are you, yeah. Sure, you know, I'm gonna jump into that one. I know, give John a breather. <laughs> that would be great. Thank you so much. All right. Woo. Yeah, I'll help you where I can. I'm gonna be gone a lot of August, so. Okay. Yeah, and you, you've, you've done one, so we'll pass the torch now. <laughs> um, basically that link that's on this agenda is all I have in terms of background information. So, um, yeah, if you just want to look into it, Mark, and then you can report back and you know ask for help, and we can talk about it at the next meeting and see see what needs to be done. Okay. Yeah, I would just comment that uh, there's a there's a group that's uh, the countywide CAC members, and uh, I know the ones that live in the river towns have very vibrant uh, action committees. Uh, 
for these kinds of things. So. Right, yep. Yes, they do. I just had a meeting with them actually this morning. Mm -hmm. um, if in fact, I, I can ask them about, I can ask both Dobbs Ferry Sustainable and the C and, and the other group uh, from Orangeley and I'll say, I'll ask them what, what it's about. Cool, yeah, any insight on how yeah. it works? If they have insight or if they've done it and they have a template for it. Cool, that'd be great. Charlene, do you think, is your gut that that, like, are we too inland or is that more, is this more like set up for Terrytown and, you know, like along the Hudson River Valley? I, I don't know. I, you know, like, I know that uh, both Dobbs and Ardsley, in fact, Dobbs is really at the cutting edge of it, um, are very involved in it. And I know that Mary Jane Shimsky is involved in it for the Sawmill River. But I don't know whether it has another component that would really apply to us. Because remember, we have like we have like a lot of the um, uh, DEP stuff and a lot of it, the Cross River Reservoir, et cetera. So, right. Right. so that may be something that we can explore. Okay. And I'll, I'll talk to Dobbs and I'll talk to uh, Ardsley about it. Cool. That's awesome. Um, the other thing is our sort of educational series uh, for the public. Um, you know, the sort of broad topics. I would actually consider um, the meeting that we had that was sort of Q&A with Jan about what is comprehensive planning, that would kind of count, but obviously, doing stuff that's informational, but that's more widely publicized that people can tune into and then watch the recording that just sort of helps everybody get on the same page and educated about what comprehensive planning is, um, you know, and different sort of subtopics, what they are, how other towns have dealt with them, just sort of broad information. Um, I actually was gonna volunteer to take the lead on this myself, but if, if anybody else is interested, speak up. <laughs> Maybe Bill Brady would do it from the county. Right, yeah. But in terms of committee members taking lead on it, I don't want to step on anybody's toes. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> OK, all right. I, so I, um, I did. I've been going back and forth with the project for public spaces. I don't know if that's a fit or not. I found it, you know, very compelling. I know their work. I broken through the initial gatekeeper bot and I'm corresponding with a woman named Rebecca. But yeah, just, I just sort of asked, you know, do you guys sponsor charrettes and is there a multi-step process and do you have any, you know, um, informational sessions either in person or pre-packaged that you could share with us. And they're, they're still like vetting, vetting this, you know, a lot of questions. Oh, interesting. The town and the timeline and the budget and the purpose and our partners and our affiliations. And so it wasn't an easy, um, so we're still going back and forth. And so I okay. was a little bit rhetorical and I said, well, what is it exactly that you do and what, what do we need to qualify for? And, you know, are you, are you the right fit for this? Um, so I was just hoping, I had envisioned sort of a design charrette and they would show up and give us sort of a crash course on some of the interesting uh, things that similar communities have done to create a sense of place. But that may be more my fantasy than what uh, they have in mind, so. Okay, well keep, um keep us posted on that. I mean, until they actually say, this is what we do and this is how much it costs and you know, all that stuff, we can, we'll just see what they say. Can't hurt, can't hurt to see what they say. Um, but I can take the lead on organizing a series of those. Um, I'm thinking that just given everybody's summer schedule that maybe we should, well, and also just given that it's almost the beginning of August now that maybe we should target having our first one sort of firmly into September. Does that sound right? 
Yeah, I think a lot of people are, going, well, I don't know. Any, <laughs> in a normal year, a lot of people are away in August, but I'm not sure about this year. Yeah. Um, but we are having um, Lise, the town assessor, at our next meeting at August 10. And I feel like that really falls into the category of an educational session that um, I will, I'll correspond with her and get an agenda together. But I was thinking just super basic 101, like what are the various taxes that the town collects? How are they, you know, how are they assessed? How does the town collect them? Like, how does this feed into the town budget? Like just really basic stuff. So I, that- What's I, the percentage that goes to the school and what's the percentage that goes to the town? Right, exactly. So I think that will fall in this category as well. Um, it's just not like a big splashy thing that we're advertising ahead of time necessarily, but then the recording is available on our website. Um, any further thoughts or comments or questions about that idea of the community education session? I like the idea of having like um, some sort of uh, frequently asked questions or facts on our FAQs on, on the um, master plan steering committee webpage. I know we've added to it uh, since the committee started a few times. But I'm wondering if we should add some additional um, frequently asked question type type of things like that. Yeah, that would be great. Um, I know at some of our previous meetings, um, there was some interesting facts about the uh, the demographics of the town in terms of uh, ages, and I think we were, Lewisboro was one of the older um, communities in Westchester County. I thought that was interesting. We have the largest percentage of uh, parks and open spaces or one of the largest percentages. So there are like some interesting facts like that in addition to um, makeup of the of the tax roll that I think would be good to have on the um, on the webpage. Yeah, definitely. And that some of that might already be somewhere online and we can just steal it. We'll source it, of course. We won't steal it. We will properly source the source, but I, I think it's all in the census uh, information that was sent sent to us. Okay, well, we would have to check if we're allowed to share that yet. Um, well, we'll figure it out. But that's a good action yeah. item. To put um, put that under my ongoing um, under my line item to just maintain the website on an ongoing basis. But I can um, if you have thoughts about a question that should be in the FAQ, definitely let me know. Before we go into down the rabbit hole with the Greenway Compact community, I guess we should ask the board members whether the matching will be available. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good point. Okay, we'll add that to Jane's list. Right. <laughs> <laughs> any any other final comments on the topic of educational, the educational series before we move on to Jane? Okay, cool. Well, we are ahead of schedule, which I love. Um, so let's see, it's 810. Well, I know you have a long list, Jane. So I'm. I'll, we'll just see see what happens. Go for it. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to need help remembering all the things on the list, but I did start writing it down. As for ACAR planning and ZBA, I think Dan gave a little bit of input into the RFP, and then he said he was good to go. And then I had said, go ahead and feel free to share it so at, in an editable version to the chairs of those boards. However, I'm also hearing a call to have it formally um, sent the, that way. I see Charlene shaking yes. So what we'll do is get it to them and then we will do the formal request. Oh. Am I still there? I feel like um, I froze in a very silly position. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, yeah, and then we can make that at the August 9th meeting. Um, and so we can do both those things. Okay, so I can, can I just send it in an email, a link to the Word document 
and then you can, I can copy you guys and you can say, you know, we will be formally asking at the next meeting, but in the meantime, start because there is a deadline. Yes, exactly. Cool. Exactly. The town board will be doing this. Like, you know, maybe we should have gotten that on the agenda last night, but we didn't. And so we'll put it on the next agenda, but they can go ahead and start working on it for sure. Um, and yeah, it's CCS because I can also help get it out. You know, people are on all kinds of vacation and whatever, and I can help get it out to some personal emails just from my inbox, um, just to make sure eyeballs are on it um, from those uh, boards. Okay. And, and it's this a draft to the board. It's not for public consumption at this point. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, okay. So. Then, okay, so John said that he got one letter of rec, and I'm wondering if that's the one that I sent. Um, yeah, oh. like some emergency service or something like that. Okay, so I sent one to, <laughs> I sent one to steering at Plan Lewisboro. Did anybody get that? From yeah. Jane Lindau. Who, who was it from that you sent? Um, Jane Lindau. What was the organization? Housing. No, I didn't get that. Okay. Oh, it must have. I don't. Kirsten is shaking her head, so it must not have come through. Okay, I will resend that like right yeah. now after I'm done with my little section because I've also been, you know, like multitasking during the meeting, um, and I drafted. Well, means, I'm sorry. That means we have two letters of recommendation. So that's awesome. We have two. And I emailed Dana and I CC'd you, John. Um, I, I asking emailed Dana too, and I've had conversations. So, and I yeah. gave her some bullet points. So hopefully she'll get it into me soon. I'm sure she would have anyway. And so I just sent out a quick email and I know that she'll be like, yes, <laughs> I was already doing this, but it, it can't hurt, right? So she's right, I sent down the road. she's right down the road. I can stand in her office. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. By Thursday morning, just knock, knock. Um, oh, she's so helpful. She'll I'm love not to. worried about Dana. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, and then I drafted something from the town board. Uh, so I drafted something for Peter. It's it, There's no bells and whistles in it. It's just kind of straightforward. John, I CC'd you and I asked Peter to have a something by, by Thursday and I'll make sure that that happens. So you'll have something from the town board too. So that's three. Nice. Thank yeah. you. That's probably yeah. probably sufficient. So that's definitely sufficient. And I think moving forward, we'll want to approach the senator's office, like Mark suggested, and the assembly member's office, and you know, kind of do all of that. You know, I don't know. It depends on what's going to make it look strong, but we'll have that for now. Well, you know, this is kind of. I think we looked at this a bit of a dry run for next year, and I yes. assume that if we we either get money or hopefully we'll get comments back and that will guide us to what and they may have different criteria next year too yes they might but i do think that it i the whole while i thought it's really worth it just to get that interview yeah yeah just to get the feedback in person i think it's really really worth it so and and yeah so it can't hurt that's for sure um and then as far as the matching grant um I obviously can't speak for the board, um, but um, I don't think it's unreasonable to to approach the board with the request. Um, yeah, I think the answer is there might be. Um, you know, this is we we knew that this was an expensive process going in, and so obviously any help we can get with money we're going to have to spend anyway, the 25000 turns into 50000 So I think matching grants is something we're going to be taking advantage of. And Well, I, I the problem is I don't know whether it would be directly uh, attributable or that could be used for the comprehensive plan. The, for this specific grant, you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And you're if looking at me. Yeah, if it can't be, like it depends on how it reads. I don't know how it reads. Oh, okay. Okay. And Bill Brady that sent it to us and he said he thought that it would be applicable to the comprehensive plan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's the same situation then, like, you got to creatively fit these things into their box. 
Well, and if if not, if it off, if it offsets some other money, it kind of indirectly goes anyway. Right, right. So it's just a matter right. of being aware that there is a matching fund. Right, right. Um, and then, yeah, what else was there? Uh, postcard mailer. Oh yeah, like two thousand dollars, right? So Larry formally requested the funding as part of his presentation last night. So I guess the next step is really just like a follow up. Um, to I yeah, did we? Uh, I'm sorry to be asking you this, Larry. I'm putting you right on the spot, but I'm putting myself on the spot too. Like, did did we approve I that? Men I mentioned it, but um, I don't believe. Unless it was like other business at the end of the meeting, I I wasn't at the I didn't stay till the end. Yeah, but, um, I don't yeah, think we it don't was. Don't have like the specific numbers either, but I I I think the that's very reasonable, and um, I think the next step would be for me to follow up and get it on the next agenda. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then I, I have that email with this with the specific numbers in it. So that's so what do I'll you, do. Do you want? Would you like? Um, myself or the committee to prepare like a bullet point resolution that we could just email over to you? Um, I mean, yes, but I don't, I, you certainly don't need to take that on. Just sent John Jane L's letter. Oh, okay, great. So um, Kirsten did get the letter of recommendation from Jane Lindau and she just sent it your way, John. Cool. All right, that would be great. Um... Oh, with the funding. Oh, the resolution for the funding. Don't worry about that. No, we got that. Yeah, I yeah, I think I can just follow up with the with the board. Okay. Yeah. In yeah. in the meantime, I the, I can upload something in terms of like a draft design, and we can start kicking it around over email. And then I th I think once I upload a design, I can probably have like a actual like check out, you know, the checkout page that says this is how much it costs, this is what taxes are with like the total, total number. Well, great. That sounds great. So then yes, just prep that and send it the board's way and it, then it gets on the next agenda. Cool. Sounds good. Um, was there anything else for Jane? Did we, did she hit everything guys? Um, well, I just, you know, after having the first quarterly check-in, um, and I just want to, you know, thank you all for being present for that and, and Larry for being present in person for it. And, um, we've really got, you've really gotten an impressive amount done in a short amount of time when you list it out. And, um, and then also the future vision with the subcommittees and all the things we look forward to when you were asking like, are there any action items that came out of the board? It was just kind of like, um, we look forward to <laughs> the development, I mean, of the plan. It was so clearly presented and um, so, yeah, um, going and thank you. We like to hear that. <laughs> um, nice job, Larry. Yeah, and thank you to Katie for uh, doing all the prep work in advance. I stood in for Katie as the chair last night. So thank you, Katie. No problem. Thank you for doing that. And I'm sure that you put a fair amount of time and effort into making it your own as well. Um, Okay, so thank you, Jane, and good vibes all around. Um, I think we've covered a lot of our action items um, in conversation tonight, but any um, closing questions or thoughts or comments um, about any of our topics or our, our action items as they stand now? I don't see any, we are so early, I love it. <laughs> um, I'll just pause for like another minute to make sure nobody thinks of anything. This is a crazy question, I'm sure you've already discussed, but over at the planning office, is there a tray of uh, surveys? It's over there, okay. Right. There are in our vestibule, and I received one via the U.S. mail. <laughs> oh, nice. 
Maybe that was from Vista. <laughs> <laughs> there was no return address, so I cannot comment. It's awesome. And um, I check the library periodically. I've gotten about six out of there. Yeah, thank you for that. I'm, I should have mentioned that earlier. You've been on top of the planning office. I think Larry did mention it, um, but Kirsten is handling planning office, library, and um, also now that the town offices are open, she's coordinating with um, the clerk's office there to make sure that there's uh, copies available in the town office as well. Cool. So, uh, come September when you, everybody has to pay their taxes and they do it in person, get one there. Of course, we may not like the comments. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm really happy with the response we've had online. It's it's really awesome. I think we can just keep seeing that number climb. Um, okay. Well, any other stray comments? Cool. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, I forget who said it earlier, but we really are a pretty amazing team on this committee. I really... A couple people said it. I'm really happy with how much work we've gotten done and how, you know, I think we're being really efficient and that's important because our time is all super valuable and all the other committees and all everybody else who's going to be involved in this process in the town um, in most cases are also volunteers. So I think it's just really important to make sure that we get the most out of our time and move stuff forward efficiently. So Way to go team. And, um, you know, hopefully we can get some grant money and just keep moving this project forward. So our next meeting is August 10th. Um, and I'm gonna say probably like 45 minutes to an hour, um, Lise will be presenting. So we'll have a short check-in on action items um, after and then August 24th will be our next meeting. We're just kind of going to do the every other week schedule and skip the planning board weeks. Um, but with that, I move. What is it I have to say? I move to adjourn adjourn the meeting. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great night. You too. Take care.